Look at this. Oh, Something just opened up. They gave us robes. He's guessed all the clues so far. Stick your hand in there. What? <laughs> this shit's wild. Welcome to today's vlog. I'm excited for today's vlog for a few reasons. One, we leave our camping spot tomorrow that we've been staying at for over six months, finally. We're going to Cohen's parents' house for a few days before we finally start our trip to Georgia. That's exciting. But the main reason for today's vlog is that we're going on a little adventure tonight before we take off, before we start our cross-country road trip type thing. There is like a romantic adventure getaway. Think escape room, Airbnb, romantic night vibes. The only night that we have had available that they also had available was literally tonight like the night before we had to leave so i'm like we're squeezing it in we need to leave within the next like hour or two and so we need to pack for tonight for ourselves for the dogs for kitty since we're not going to be staying in the bus tonight we're taking everybody to Brittany and zach's house to be watched there so we need to pack all of their shit our shit and get our shit moving honestly packing for one night so much fun i just have this one bag y'all remember i unboxed this on instagram it's our cat book bag, which is now just our general cat carrier. Because our other one that we had was like this giant plastic. It just took up way too much room. And we couldn't keep it underneath the bed. Right, kitty? So now you go in this guy when we have to take you places. I think she likes it. We need to grab dog toys, kitties bowls, kitty food. Just for tonight and tomorrow morning. Also, I should have said this at the beginning of the vlog. Lighting is terrible. Even though it's like middle of the day, it's raining outside. We have no natural sunlight coming in. Packing in such a small space, honestly, not, not fun. We're loaded in the car. Got kitty up front with me. Don't worry, she is locked and strapped in up here. I hate being away from Becky. I don't like sleeping away from her. Don't like it. But I'm obviously very excited for our trip. I don't know what to expect. This is all like a mystery to us. It just looks fun. So we're gonna go. All I know is that it's escape room vibes. There's like tunnels and clues and slides. They asked like our robe sizes. They asked a message that I wanted to put on the bed and pedals like I don't know. We gotta make it to Brittany and Zach's first. Unload the family and then we'll head that way. We're obviously at Brittany and Zach's. You can't take bus life people to a house with a shower and expect us not to use it. So of course we showered, washed my hair. Where we're going tonight is about two hours away and I have a lot of work to do in the car while we're doing that. So I'm gonna make a coffee. You know, like <sighs> Brittany and Zach, if you're watching this, we love you. Thank you. <laughs> I still can't wait until we get an espresso machine in the bus. It will change my life. I also think I made a realization about myself with my love for coffee is it's not about the caffeine. Like I've always been like, I don't need my morning coffee. Like I really don't. I probably should just drink decaf anyways because like I don't need the caffeine. It's just the flavor. Like it's just so good. Like I have all the energy in the world to like get the things that I need to get done done, but it just kind of like gives me the little extra oomph that I need. And I just want a silly little drink while we drive for two hours. So I might as well. Ooh. This is exactly what I needed. Give me 2266. Second window, thank you. Thank you. If you worked at Kane's, what would be your little tagline when you took an order? I wombo, you wombo, tell me which combo. <laughs> you should probably stick with your day job. <laughs> that was good. Do you know what that comes from? What? The I wombo, you wombo. You don't know what that is? I have That's why you don't get it. It's from SpongeBob, baby. Patrick, I don't think wombo is a real word. I wombo, you wombo, Wombo. That was good. Yeah, I like it now. <laughs> Full transparency. They invited us to come out to help like get some content and take some pictures for their socials and whatnot. This vlog is not sponsored. They did not ask for like any type of like YouTube content. I just wanted to vlog it because I'm like, what are we about to do? I don't know. It seems like fun. There's a whole bunch of different like themed rooms, I guess, that they have. So I got to pick what we wanted to do. And ours is called like the Paradise Lost. And I guess that's the theme of like the escape room or like the adventure side of it. So I don't know what's about to happen. We made it to our romantic adventure adventure getaway. I'm nervous. I'm excited. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why we're whispering. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm whispering either. Holy shit. Look at this. Like just first first impressions. This is a this is a tub shower. Look at this. Oh my god. Then you have your sink and your mirror, and then you have like the actual, you know, like toilet bathroom. But like, there's just like so much ambiance in here already. And this is just the entryway. <laughs> this shit's wild. <laughs> what is happening right now? Yo, have y'all seen the bed? Let me show you. They put Marissa and Cohen on here. That's cute. There's a, I'm sorry. <laughs> there's like a TV right here in bed. This is good. And this is like 
obviously a raised bed. Like there's like a step. 20 bucks says there's a secret under there that we gotta find. And they have a little like faux fireplace going for us. I like this couch. This is nice. This is wild. It said that it like starts our adventure by following the white rose petals that are on the ground. And there is like a little trail. I saw something like on the little table. So I guess like. Do we start our adventure? I was supposed to say, do we just like start it? Or do we need to do anything? I don't know. I need this light to come back on. They gave us robes. <laughs> <laughs> now we start our adventure. I don't even know what to do. Oh, there's a, a combination. I told you. Yeah, I was like, I can't do it. What does it say? Our first clue is a wine bottle. I thought there was actual alcohol in here. There's no alcohol. <laughs> but I think there's like a note in here. I think this is our clue, right? Yeah. The label says silverware left to right. And it has like a fork, a knife, and a spoon. So that's how it was there's set one. up in this drawer. So there's five forks. Five. Yeah. This is one, four. And then three. I was so right. <gasps> <laughs> okay, baby. From where you sit to watch the crackle and burn, play Ispy. I spy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was back. <laughs> play I spy and you will quickly learn with yellow and black, I might leave a welt. But don't shy away if you want feelings you have never felt. So we have this little, like, scroll glue. Sit. If we play I spy with yellow and black, I might leave a welt. Ooh, the bow and arrows, if you shoot it, it like hits your forearm sometimes. Right. Yellow and black? Fire doesn't leave a welt. <laughs> I mean yellow and black. Oh, the bee. There's the a bee? bee. Yeah. <gasps> There's a bee right There's here. There's a bee and the bee's moving. Well, I can push it. Oh. <laughs> What's in there? I don't know. Stick your hand in there. What? <laughs> Oh, I think there's a key. Okay, but a key to what? I don't know. Our key opened this chest, and now we're on to the next clue. I don't even know what that is. Fertility idol. And it's also something about a scale. I personally need a clue break, and oh. I need some wine. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> they started the Keurig on accident. Things keep like moving or making noises and I feel like I'm gonna like fall through a trap door at any moment. We weren't sure what they would have, so we stopped and got bottles of wine and then these like, I don't know, plastic little wine glasses. <laughs> now we can go. <laughs> Colin's fucking killing this shit. <laughs> He's guessed all the clues so far. And we've only had two of them, but like, I don't know anything. I'm like, stare at what you weigh. And I'm like, where's there a scale? Let's go to the bathroom. And I'm She's like- She's thinking too literally. You gotta be an ADHD brain, 17 different thousand things in your mind. No. <laughs> Dude, this is so freaking cold. Finish all the instructions before you do anything. Okay. It's like the typical little TikTok ADHD that's like- well, But then if you like, already unplugged the it- scissors. If you already cut it, do not use the tape or then you're like- <laughs> Press the blue light on top of the selfie lamp over there. Don, Dr. Jones, and Miron outfits use props from both sides of the door. Oh, so that's what that is. Recreate the famous idol swap selfie once complete, lift the green crocodile. All right, we gotta turn the selfie stick. I don't see a blue light. Oh. Now we gotta go get changed into our little outfits. We were getting carried away. We found a few more clues. We found a sushi lock. We did something in a drawer which opened underneath the sink, which led us to this bow and arrow kit in the wall. But there's a note on the bottom of this. What does it say? I don't know. Use me to assure little Miss Muffet won't be frightened away ever again. After the deed is done, the golden idol will have a challenge. Oh, I think I have to stick it in that hole. Because that's the spider. This says mother spider crusher on it. Yeah. And then it should like, because there's little spiders. Yeah. <gasps> Something just opened up. <laughs> we got to take. <laughs> oh. Something happened in here. <gasps> this. Open. <laughs> Are we supposed to crawl through here? Yeah. <gasps> no, we have to shoot them. Oh, we do. Do not crawl into the tunnel, it says right there on the side. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna shoot it? Yeah. So we're supposed to use this bow and arrow and shoot all these little tiki guys. You gotta at least knock down a couple, I think. Or maybe it's just the right one. I'm scared. Just do it. Just let's go. Oh, <laughs> I got one! I got one. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet! Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. <laughs> so close. 
Oh, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now what? <laughs> Put your arm into the arrow range and reach up to the right above the window and feel around for a round ball. Oh, then we can throw this at it? No. Oh, there's a clue in it. To relax like a jungle king and queen, you must follow the trail that's behind the Holy Grail. Yeah, so the Holy Grail is this way. I did see that when I was looking for the other clue. Right here. Oh, yeah. Look for the trail that's behind the Holy Grail. So do we have to move this? Trail. Sneak behind it. Did you turn it on? There's a lamp. Looking up still for one last slide. I gotta yeah. see the color oh, in your eyes. Oh gosh. What are we doing? We get to make some pottery. No shit. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. I forgot to bring our camera back here, and now we're locked in this room for now. <laughs> we ended up at a pottery room. We're about to throw clay, and they got our song playing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me show you the room. But look at our little room. We have this whole little room here to tell us how to do it. The first half of this, this little scavenger hunt, PG-13, you know, we're just having a good time. The last half of this shit, <laughs> once you climb up onto this gigantic bed here, there's like a back section to the bed where all three of these things like rose up separately. We had to find different clues to get them all to raise. In this first one, I masks. In this one, I'm not even gonna say it. You can just read it. <laughs> And in the third one, it was just a combination to get to a lock box at the table over there, which then brought us over here to open this. And I don't even just read this. <sighs> no. I just don't understand it though, to be honest. But we made it to the end. That's what the entire scavenger hunt leads to, which is this. Oh my God. <laughs>